right, so I'm going to show you a workaround. It is a workaround. I'm not pretending that this is the workaround, but it probably will get you to where you need to be for your structural plans and for your framing for these sloped beams. Um, there very well might be something better out there, but we'll go ahead and show you uh, how, how I would go ahead and handle this at this point with the knowledge that I have. So basically what you do first, of course, is you make sure that the work plane is set properly and that's no biggie so right now it's sent to the reference plane south roof so we're sloping with the roof the next thing to do is to place columns at the intersection think of these as temporary columns that you're going to get rid of later so right now let me go ahead and delete this beam because this is what we're trying to do we're, we're pretending that we do not have a location so basically uh, place any column will do so I'll just go ahead and uh, use my column tool and then place it at grids to make sure that it is at the intersection. So I'll select those two grids, finish, there's my column. Typically then I would make sure that in the 3D view with the, this new column that I went ahead and placed, which I believe is this, this column right here, is attached to the underside of this girder. So I'll go ahead and uh, select it, attach it to topper base, and that is now attached. The reason why I'm creating this column is basically it's going to help that beam frame properly uh, by using the beam tool. So, all right, so now that I've got that done, uh, let's go back to the plan view. And so, you know, I added this column, I already added this column. The next step is to, is to go ahead and create the beam. So I'll click on the beam tool and I'll use the same on grids option. So I'll choose whatever beam you're going to use. I'm going to select the, the beam and then I'll go ahead and hit finish. And that beam should, the beam geometry should be in here and you'll see the beam right there framing into those columns. Okay. So, uh, I, by the way, I changed the, the view detail level to course. So that way you'd kind of see the stick symbol in relationship to the uh, uh, to the column grid. Let's go ahead and basically look at this in section. So I'll move this section over, go to this view. And right now that's where my beam is. Um, now, if we go ahead and expand this, we should be able to kind of see everything beyond and see that it is indeed framing into the column as it should all right so let's go now to the reference place I was just checking something real quick there in my views while that's why I'll pause the recording so essentially what we created here was this beam let me just undo that to make sure which beam we got Okay, we'll go back. Okay, so there we go. There's our beam. Again, you can tell it's basically in the right work plane. At least I think it is. No. Okay, and so again, I just checked it here in a couple 3D views to make sure that was the case. It is kind of confusing sometimes. But anyway, there we go. So we got our beam, and you can tell that the geometry is kind of overlapping here. So again, we want to go ahead and clean that up. So to do so, I'm just going to go uh, into uh, the roof plan. And let's go ahead and change this to fine. Again, you know, you probably come up with a better way of going back and forth here. And what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and create some reference planes. And you know how to do this. Go ahead and pick the edges of those beams for the reference planes. All right, and once we've got those set, then you go ahead and actually cut the geometry. So let's do that. Go ahead and hit modify, cut geometry, select the beam you want to cut, and then use the reference plane to cut it. Same thing on this side, do the same thing. So cut, cut geometry, beam to cut, reference plane to cut it. And we should have that beam. Let's go ahead and look at that. 3D. And so yeah, you've got your beam basically cut. 
now in line and then the final steps are to uh, remove the columns you know and so obviously I'd probably keep this column as is kind of working my way down the down the the line here you know as I fix these other beams but the point is is that you know go ahead and remove the column it was temporary there it just, and the, if it's not there I'll tell you it just it just extends past and it does not work right the the tool does not work right that column it's it just helps that that beam frame okay so the the next step would be to go back to the roof framing plan and to make sure especially if you're doing a course level view notice that right now that uh, it's slightly off okay and it may be anyway but if you go ahead and change the stick symbol location from center of geometry to top of geometry notice that it kind of falls back right on the the grid line there so that's what you want to make sure and do to make sure that that's on the grid line and so again I'd go ahead and eventually I'd delete this column start or you know I would do this beam first this span first and then delete the column and and just keep moving down the line so hopefully that makes sense um, that is basically the workflow it's not ideal but it may get you where you need to be okay